Understanding the Pathophysiology Concepts of Health and Disease. Hello, and thank you for coming to this video. Today, we embark on an exciting journey into the world of pathophysiology. In our exploration of pathophysiology, we will delve into the fundamental concepts of health and disease. These concepts form the cornerstone of our understanding of how the body functions and responds to various challenges. So, let's dive right in. Let's begin by examining the concept of health. Health is not merely the absence of disease, it encompasses a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being. The World Health Organization defines health as a dynamic process of achieving and maintaining overall well-being. It emphasizes that health is not static but rather a lifelong journey. Maintaining good health is of paramount importance as it directly influences our quality of life. When we are in a state of optimal health, we are better equipped to handle the challenges that come our way. Now, let's shift our focus to the definition of disease. Disease can be understood as a deviation from normal structure or function in the body. It encompasses a wide range of conditions, from common ailments to complex disorders. Diseases can manifest at different levels, including the cellular, tissue, organ, or systemic level. Understanding these deviations from normality allows healthcare professionals to identify and address the underlying causes effectively. Many factors can significantly influence our health and predispose us to disease. Let's explore some of these factors. Genetic factors our genetic makeup plays a crucial role in determining our susceptibility to certain diseases. Inherited conditions and genetic variations can influence our risk of developing specific disorders or our response to treatments. Environmental factors, our environment can either promote or hinder our health. Exposure to toxins, pollutants, infectious agents, and other environmental factors can have a profound impact on our well-being and contribute to the development of diseases. Lifestyle factors, our choices and behaviors play a significant role in shaping our health outcomes. Factors such as diet, exercise, smoking, and substance abuse can greatly influence our risk of developing certain diseases. Adopting healthy lifestyle habits is essential for maintaining optimal health. Socioeconomic factors, it is important to recognize that health disparities exist among different populations. Socioeconomic factors, including access to healthcare, education, and resources, can significantly impact disease prevalence and outcomes. Addressing these disparities is vital for promoting health equity. Now, let's delve into the concepts of etiology and pathogenesis. Etiology refers to the cause or origin of a disease. It can be classified into intrinsic and extrinsic factors. Intrinsic factors are internal to the body, such as genetic mutations or hormonal imbalances. Extrinsic factors, on the other hand, are external influences like infections or exposure to toxins. Understanding the etiology of a disease is crucial for developing targeted treatments and prevention strategies. By identifying the underlying cause, healthcare professionals can intervene at the root of the problem. Pathogenesis refers to the sequence of cellular and tissue events that lead to the development of a disease. It involves the intricate interactions between various biological processes and mechanisms. Studying pathogenesis provides insights into how diseases progress and helps identify potential therapeutic targets. As diseases progress, they produce various clinical manifestations. Let's explore this aspect in more detail. Clinical manifestations refer to the signs and symptoms exhibited by a patient. These manifestations serve as important clues for healthcare professionals in diagnosing and treating diseases. Recognizing and interpreting clinical manifestations accurately is crucial because they provide valuable insights into the underlying pathophysiological processes. By understanding the manifestations, Healthcare professionals can make informed decisions regarding further diagnostic tests and appropriate treatment plans. Clinical manifestations can vary widely depending on the specific disease and affected body systems. 
For example, respiratory infections such as pneumonia or influenza often present with symptoms like fever, cough, and shortness of breath. On the other hand, cardiovascular diseases may manifest as chest pain, palpitations, or shortness of breath. By paying close attention to clinical manifestations and understanding their significance, healthcare professionals can provide timely and targeted interventions, improving patient outcomes and quality of life. Finally, let's explore the diagnostic and treatment strategies used in healthcare. Accurate diagnosis is crucial for effective treatment and management of diseases. It involves a comprehensive assessment of clinical manifestations, patient history, physical examination, and diagnostic tests. Diagnostic tests play a vital role in identifying the underlying cause of a disease. These tests can include laboratory tests, imaging studies, such as X-rays or MRIs, and biopsies. Each test provides unique insights into the disease process and aids in formulating an appropriate treatment plan. Treatment modalities vary depending on the specific disease and its underlying mechanisms. They can include pharmacotherapy, medications, surgical interventions, lifestyle modifications, such as diet and exercise, and supportive care. The goal is to alleviate symptoms, slow disease progression, and improve the patient's overall well-being. It is important to note that treatment plans are often individualized based on factors such as the patient's age, coexisting conditions, and personal preferences. Collaborative decision-making between healthcare professionals and patients ensures the most effective and patient-centered approach. In conclusion, Understanding the concepts of health and disease is essential for healthcare professionals to provide optimal care to their patients. In this presentation, we explored the foundational concepts of pathophysiology. We defined health as a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and disease as a deviation from normal structure or function in the body. We discussed the factors influencing health and disease, including genetic, environmental, lifestyle, and socioeconomic factors. We explored the concepts of etiology and pathogenesis, emphasizing the importance of understanding the underlying causes and disease processes. We highlighted the significance of recognizing and interpreting clinical manifestations for accurate diagnosis and effective treatment. Finally, we explored the diagnostic and treatment strategies used in healthcare, emphasizing the importance of accurate diagnosis and individualized treatment plans. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the concepts of pathophysiology. I hope this presentation has deepened your understanding of the fundamental concepts of health and disease.